Westchester of the Eastern Conference, Sioux Falls of the West. And we are underway in the county center. Similar storyline tonight as Sioux Falls enters as the second highest scoring team in the league. Absolutely. The Knicks are going to have to be absolutely great defensive. Players are cutting and find that ball is going to find you. Kadeen will find you, and Zach is going to always do those small things. Raphael Putney to the rim and one. That's the thing about Putney. He's versatile. He can put the ball on the floor as well. Turns himself a nice cheer during the starting lineups. In the paint with a nice floater is Charles Cook. Great. The Knicks have to be defensively. They got to be great one-on-one -on -one defenders, and that's, gonna, that's a must from the very beginning. He's signing that two-way NBA deal, and he said in a lot of ways it hasn't, as Charles Cook the third knocks down another bucket. Sit 19 and 13, Sioux Falls 21 and 10. Warney in the paint. And it stays in the cylinder in third. When he got to the rim, but couldn't finish that time. Advantage for Sioux Falls. And Rodney Purvis knocks down a three. Which style, which advantage is going to be the key that leads either one of these teams to victory? Or to take a detour and head overseas. Absolutely, and he, he's putting in the work. He, he definitely puts in the work. Who needs his, his type of, of play? because he, he is undersized going to the next level. But size doesn't matter. It's about the effort that you give every single night and utilizing your gift. Billy Garrett collects himself and squishes a three. Putney will fire away, and that's the advantage on this end of the floor for Sioux Falls. And he can also put the ball on the floor, so they're using Putney as, as well as the Knicks are using Warney. Garrett's got all day and hits from the other side of the floor for three. Chat before the game, we know how strong the Michigan basketball fraternity is. Kadeem Allen to the rim. Michigan at the G League level. As for the big Knicks, you have Trey Burke and Tim Hardaway Jr. Duncan Robinson awkwardly off glass. Tough luck for Warney. A denial by Watson. Block Cook running the floor for two. Poor decision. Zimmerman running the floor into the paint. Taron reached across. No call. Kick out Wiggs. He bags a three. <laughs> Purvis is open. Long rebound tracked down by Paulo. Quick trigger. And Duncan Robinson knocks down a three. That thing's a pure shooter. Leave him open. Can't have any late contested shots against him. You have to be there and be in his space. Zimmerman pounds it inside. Loose ball tracked by Zimmerman. Finds Bachman on the baseline. Watson now at the rim. 2008. He's an assistant coach for Sioux Falls as Raphael Putney throws it down. And Powell today serving as the active head coach. Gonna stop rising. Oh, he goes to just a different <laughs> level that other people, they just don't have the button for. Seku Wiggs a three. Impossible angle for Briante Weber. And a circus finish. Sit out, Garrett is open. Kept alive. Kicked by Purvis, shoveled ahead Robinson in the open floor. He knows exactly what he wants to do and the time he wants to maneuver. Garrett falling away, in and out, and stays down. So for the rest of the season, our Wears Westchester feature will continue. Big block right at the rim, and it's out of bounds to Sioux Falls. Defensive teams in the league, that's the Knicks. One of the best offensive teams, that's the Sky Force, and that is what we have on our hands tonight in White Plains. Cook driving, gets to the rim. Billy Garrett working against Briante Weber. Better offense against great defense. I'm gonna allow you to make him take what you want. He's gonna take the shot he wants. 
Underneath, there's Rafael Putney. And to have him sitting there and watching them, I'm telling you, it means so much to these young guys. What a move by Billy Garrett to really put himself in position to contribute at the next. You can see the work that he put in, but when he played, when he was playing here with these young men. And the three-point makes in a single game. An offensive foul. In motion, I feel like we're hockey and reviewing a goal. But right. Raphael Putney stepped back and cans a three. Two timeouts were called in the first four minutes of the quarter. We're about to have an extended stretch of basketball without a full timeout. Summer vacation. <laughs> None of that. Family updates. We came to win. Jamil Warney, best shooting bigs in the NBA. Cook, open. He beat Watson on the curl. Warney spinning against Putney, up with the left hand, and that one drops. Paulo cutting, kicking out. It's a three for Charles Cook. Scout is really causing the Knicks a little bit of problem. Garrett off of one foot. He's got 17. Allen driving up with the left hand, no. Warney underneath, cleans it up. Knicks by seven. Paulo penetrates and scores. To Wiggs. And one, Sekou Wiggs attacking the rim. The rim and gets his little Euro step in there, right over the top and finishing with that left hand. Up ahead to Watson, and then he threw it away to Cook. Got himself caught in the air with nowhere to go. Threw it away, and Skyforce converts off of that steal. Knicks not getting back defensively. Watson with the block. Paulo cleans it up. A reset to 14. Irvin goes right to the hole. Just overpowers Paulo. Two-second difference between game and shot clock as Wiggs goes to work. On the pull-up, hits it off glass. Angle off the glass, no good. Billy Garrett pushing, floats it up and in. Tonight, whether it's knocking down shots from the outside, getting to the hole, he's picking and choosing his areas. But like we said, you cannot allow Putney to eye that ring. Kadeem Allen, Billy Garrett, Paul Watson, Zach Irvin, Jameel Warney, the five for the Knicks. Allen with the left hand. Purvis, Duncan Robinson, and Raphael Putney. Thrown to the rim, nicely done, Weber to Putney. Against Watson, falling away, no. Bubu Paolo grabbed the rebound, surrounded by four blue jerseys, and the second chance opportunity results in another third quarter three. Wisdom has been given to these young men as they're playing this game. We kid because we love, and Joel Abelson, the <laughs> director of, of operations, that franchise out of some tough years and really set the stage for a couple years later, this squad winning a championship. Joel knows everything that we say on this end. Mick Mahone, the former head coach of Sioux Falls, longtime NBA assistant into Irvin. Off the rim, strength in numbers there on the rebound. Purvis running the floor for the easy two. Sekou Wiggs claims the lead right back for the Knicks. Good thing, he has to take that shot. They're leaving him open. He has to take it. And he's taking it confidently, but you have to get back in transition. If See, you, I'm lucky. I got teaspoon. I got you, but if you get hit in the head and you're not paying attention, don't get mad. Kadeem Allen. Allen breaks the tie. But has not played an NBA game this season. But for those guys to recognize as Briante Weber counted and won that type of support. You know, just the other night, faced in this quarter, they were down nine at half. Westchester pushed it. Zimmerman collects. 
and one. So he tried. He tried to steal a couple minutes with a smaller lineup, but he couldn't. Allen, the leaner. I mean, that Kadeem has been scoring any type of way tonight. Putney strokes it from deep. Worked himself nicely into that role. He has, and you know, you, you continue to do that within the offense. But when you leave a shooter like that open. Robinson, four of six from beyond the arc. Zimmerman picks up the loose ball. Numbers for the Knicks. Watson steps over and scores. Important to get back in transition. Zimmerman, offensive rebound. Rush the follow. That time took his time and puts it in. Kick out Purvis. Got it again. Rodney Purvis, the UConn product. The smaller Bachman off the glass. No. Long rebound, two on two. Allen feeds Irvin, and a transition to Falls and the place where they like to play. This is just how they love to play. You can't get caught up, and I, Kadeem is amazing that he's getting better. Purvis, step back, got it. Good work by Irvin to save it to Allen. Numbers the other way. Shovel to Purvis. Pull up for Billy Garrett. Everybody involved and also inject himself when necessary. Robinson is open and he doesn't miss. The deficit is seven. And here you see Skyforce had gone into a little bit of a zone. That's something that gave them trouble in the game last night. Guarding him there. 6 10 to go. In and out dribble, and Rodney Purvis is beginning to percolate. You punch that thing into Warney. This is what's going to happen. Nobody can guard him. No good. Billy Garrett. Paul Watson. Gets that one to go. Just absolutely no way you can miss the work of Warney down low. He's wide open. Punch it into him. Weber to Putney. And that's the thing. What you're doing in the first half, it must sustain it right into the second half. Allen gets the rebound, sticks it back in. 64-47. Sioux Falls outscores the Knicks in the second half. 